Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We're just going to do some flying of the uh, Spark today. Just kind of cruise it around, exercise it a little bit, uh, just get some flight time. So I've checked hover, everything's good to go, no no TAMs. And I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well actually before I start that, I want to start, whoops, I already got screen recording going. I think I got screen recording going. I'm not sure. One, two, three. Nope, I didn't have screen recording going. All right, so now I got screen recording going. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this up. And yes, I know I'm in a class E, but I'm good to 400. Actually, I'm good to 700 feet. So I just do a quick walk around, take a look at it. I want to start. Uh, video on the copter. Uh, one of the things you notice, I took the sun shield off of it because I was having problems in sport mode with the sun shield. So uh, let's uh, let's take it up and let's uh, see what's what in the spillway over there. Take it out over the spillway a little bit. And we should be over there. So I'm going to look down that way. Oh yeah, we got a boat going down that way. Looks like maybe some jet skis following it. Beautiful August day out here. It's getting a little bit, uh, a little bit overcast, a little bit hazy, but you know, not bad in the 80s. A little bit of wind gust, probably three to six mile an hour wind gusts. And uh, so I think we got some stuff coming up and down and all the way around. And one of the things I might do is uh, take some of this video footage and uh, do a hyperlapse with it and see how that comes out and kind of experiment with hyperlapses. Been having a lot of fun doing that. Um, I just wish that Microsoft hyperlapse application wasn't 50 bucks. You know, 20 or 30 bucks, I'd be a buyer, you know, in a heartbeat pretty much. You know, 50 bucks, I'm going to have to find a special little place. I want to experiment with some other stuff, and I'm hoping that maybe you guys have some commentary of uh, some other hyperlapse software that... Uh, you know, I can get, so that's basically what I'm doing, is I'm just trying to get some footage built up, uh, you know, because again, the stuff moving up and down, I think will look pretty cool in, an, in a hyperlapse mode. So it's just kind of hanging out there. Battery's looking really good. So I definitely have the time and to loiter about. And that's one of the great things I like about the Spark, is, uh, you know, fairly good battery time. I just really would love, DJI, if you're listening, you know, just, you know, another two minutes on the battery. I know that thing can carry more weight. You guys have seen my videos. I've carried an extra up to 100 grams. And, and you don't have to go, I think, that much. But if we could just get about two minutes more of functional flight time, I really think that would really make this a super copter. Because, again, you know, having about a solid 10 minutes of flight time doing something because yes you can get a, maybe a little bit more than 10 minutes but you're really cutting it close and, and you know you have to take into account the time to go out and the time to go back and, and all that kind of stuff and that's you know really what what robs you is that whole piece of of you know going out coming back and so if you had just two more minutes that would really I think functionally give this thing a lot more uh, value. I think I still think it's a ton of value for the money. I think um, DJI hit it right on the head with this one. You know, because the Mavic is a superior machine, but it's a very expensive machine. And, you know, a lot of people say, well, you know, this is like over half the cost of it, but it, it does the majority of the things. Now, you know, yeah, 4K video is nice. You can do a lot of additional things. I won't argue with anybody about 4K video, but still, 1080p for YouTube vlogging is really good. You know, you're not going to do cinematography with it, but again, you're going to get some really good YouTube stuff, as, as, as I do on this channel. You know, because basically, I upload everything either 720 you know depending on what it is and how big it is and it really works well and so again very happy with, with that type of format versus 
you know, 4K because I can't even imagine. I've got um, 178 gig bandwidth on my, my internet, and if I try to, I, I've experimented with 4K, I, I just sort of give up because it's just simply too painful. And again, we have more boats coming down the way. And I don't know what that was. So probably some kind of scam. So again, I'm thinking uh, we'll get some good hyperlapse in this. And, and what I'll do is I'll probably uh, intermix the hyperlapse uh, somewhere in here. Maybe where I just got the phone call. Uh, but anyways, um, you know, just kind of, you know, talking through a couple different things with regards to the spark. Because I tell you what, it's Christmas is coming up and in the holiday season. I think a lot of these are going to be sold because, uh, you know... Uh, they're also a really good close-up drone because, you know, yeah, I, you know, I've flown out, you know, way far and all kinds of stuff. I have not flown over the 400 feet and I won't fly over the 400 feet because I think that's just reckless and irresponsible. And I will only fly, you know, distances over water uh, or in a safe area. And really it's pretty much over water because if it goes down, it's just going to go into drink and the likelihood of it hitting something is, is like you know, an asteroid hitting the earth, you know, even over top of farm fields or this, I really won't take the copter out of line of sight, you know, and, and again, the FAA regulation, not law, regulation is line of sight, and, and so you might as well say it's pretty much a law, you know, you're, you're crossing a fine line between regulation and, and law, but I mean, for practical purposes, those, those rules are there for safety reasons, and, and I want to respect them as much as possible in situations where somebody could be, be injured. Um, and, and I think, very, you know, not enough people do that. You know, it's like X-Jet or uh, the guy out of New Zealand. He's got a couple different channels, you know, talked about that guy in uh, Israel that flew next to the Tel Aviv airport. I mean, that's just, I, I mean, what, what's wrong with that guy's head? Um, so, and that, that's one of the problems in this hobby. I think if, if, you know, and I don't think, I know, if you're safe and responsible, you know, these can be a lot of fun. Um, but, you know, it's those people that do those crazy one-off things. You know, or the other guy who's out flying with his friend and grabs the drone. I know it's like a Phantom series and, and cut his hand all up. Well, yeah, that's going to happen. Stay away from that. You know, they're spinning knives. Come on, folks. So uh, pretty much I think the boats have uh, pretty much gone. And I think I've done my little vlogging. Uh, vlogging with the spark so and again that's what some of these are it's just uh you know like the x jet and that sit in front of it mr Steele sits in front of the camera so i fly a drone and i talk about what's happening in the droning world and so we're just kind of watching down there and again we're getting some really good flight times out of this minute wise so you know you can still see the the clock counting down and so uh, i'm going to keep, keep it up there a little bit more but again i'm really excited for what's happening in the drone community today now you know as part of my profession i also you know on the ancillary deal with drones and drone technology a, a, a bit and, and i tell you what i mean this this a lot of crazy things coming you know with drones obviously as computers just like as in self-driving cars become more powerful and you're, you're able to embody more compute in that little guy because let's face it this little guy wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for compute technology that's now becoming available so hopefully the wind's not uh, picking up or getting too bad here and so that's what's really cool about these and as it, it ever increases it, you know it's going to get just better and better and then also the autonomous capabilities because again i won't get into a lot of it but in my day job i deal a lot with you know artificial intelligence and things like that it, it's becoming very very good and very very fast now it's not going to be quite skynet but you're going to be able to pump a lot of power into something the size of the spark very shortly and, and, and today quite frankly it has a ton of power I mean, you know, uh, 40 years ago when I was a kid, I would have never thought that something like this spark would exist or the cell phone or anything like that. I mean, that was just like crazy talk. I grew up in a day of vacuum tubes. And so, uh, you know, going from vacuum tubes to this is like amazing. But my point is, is I think a lot's going to come out of this technology. And so, well, we're starting to get down a little bit to where the uh, it's going to, but, you know, it's just kind of hovering out there. And kind of let it come back. We're not we're not far from home, so we don't have to worry about coming along. So just again, nice day to go out for a flight. And this is what I think a lot of the fun is. Is is this is one of the things you know? Geeks, I spend umpteen hours in front of the computer. It's part of my job, number one. But then number two, it's part of my hobby, and that's one of the things I love about 
drones. Thank you, RJ Make. Um, you know, because now it gets me outside, it gets me a little bit of sun, some fresh air, maybe a little bit more exercise than I would get kind of walking around, chasing these things around fields. And it's just a lot of fun. So, uh, anyways, uh, you know, again, uh, now we got a low battery warning, so it's now complaining. So what I'm going to do is kind of just move this around. And I'm going to bring this back to its home location. But you know, I just I just love the 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 ambling ability of the spark. I mean, it doesn't move super fast when you don't want it to, but yet I can flick a switch and have it be in sport mode, and you know, just have a lot of fun with it. So we're gonna just bring this down a little bit. So hopefully you didn't mind me rambling too much today. It was just a good day to get out, fly. I didn't have anything real specific. You know, I've been doing the pano stuff, the filter stuff, the 3D print, GoPro stuff, the 808 keychain stuff. But, you know, sometimes it's just fun to go out and push a few buttons and do some flying and just kind of watch how things come out. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Let's, uh, eh, let's push it back this way, Joe. The other left. And we're bringing it down. So this is just a quick flight today. I'm just using the 3D printed uh, landing pad. And uh, I want to try saving up. Whoops. I think I saved up the video already. And I'd like to do it before I land because after I land, I usually end up just thinking about talking to you guys. And so let's bring it down. We're pretty close. Moved a little bit off. So, hey, not bad. So hopefully um, you enjoyed this little bit of flight. Like I say, I'll probably have interlaced uh, some uh, some hyperlapse in there uh, for the video footage. And, you know, you had a good time watching all that. If you did, hey, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up anyway. What does it cost anyway? It's just a bush on a button. So, uh, and I tell you what. Uh, oh, subscribe button's coming over there. And I almost forgot the most important thing. What are you guys thinking about for lunch? I'm uh, getting ready to go have some, so uh, looking for some suggestions. So cheers. We'll see you in the next video.